Today I'm going to show you how to make an abstract spiral name design. We're going to be using the letters of our name for shapes and we'll be using the line that is called a spiral. Abstract is a style of art that focuses on shape, line, and color. Abstract art isn't usually of an object or a person. For our materials today, you'll need a paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black permanent marker like a Sharpie, and coloring materials like markers, crayons, or colored pencils. First, gather your materials. So I have my pencil, my Sharpie, my eraser, my paper, and I'm going to use these cool markers that have two sides. One is thicker and one is thinner but you can use whatever materials you have. So maybe crayons, markers, colored pencils, all are good options. First, find the middle of your paper, not the side or the top, but find somewhere in the middle and put a tiny little dot, just big enough for you to see. We're going to use a spiral line, so let's practice on the back. How do you draw a spiral? So start in the middle, it's like you're making a circle and you keep getting bigger and bigger without closing your shape. Practice your spirals a couple times until you're comfortable. Then when you're ready, turn it over and you can start on your final design. Notice that I am drawing slow, so I'm taking my time and making sure that my spiral looks good as I'm drawing it. I'm getting bigger and going all the way out to the edges. Now, I don't really like how the end looked, so I'm changing it a little bit. So I erased it and I'm drawing that line again so it looks a little bit more even. and your spiral should fill up as much paper as you can. Now, you're gonna be using your name for the letters in this design. You could use your first name or your last name too, but if you have a really long first and last name, that might be a little harder. So think about how many letters you have and then decide what you want to use. I'm using my name, Miss Moore, and notice that I started in the middle with the M. So it's kind of at a funny angle, but the beginning is gonna look a little bit funny, but you'll get the hang of it as you go. Notice that my letters are tall so that they fill the whole space. The top of the letter touches the top line of the spiral and the bottom touches the bottom line of that spiral part. So you don't want your letters to be floating in the middle of that shape. You want them to touch the top and bottom line. They don't have to be uppercase letters, but I like the way that it looks with uppercase, so I'm using uppercase letters. Repeat your name as you go. So when you are finished, keep going and repeat your name. You don't need to leave any spaces between the beginning and the end of your name like you would if you were writing it. Just continue with the next letter. So I don't leave any space between Miss and More, and I'm not leaving any space at the end of More and Miss. Finish your name if you have room when you get to the end of your spiral. So I noticed that I ended with an M, but I could fit the rest of more. So if you can, fit the rest of your name, and if you can't, no big deal. Next, we're going to outline with a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, use a permanent black marker or just a black marker is fine too. And I'm starting by outlining the spiral shape. Notice that I'm going slow and I'm turning my paper as I'm outlining. If I didn't turn my paper, it wouldn't turn out as nice. So I'm being careful that I'm outlining it 
so that my spiral shape still looks nice. Then we're going to go ahead and outline the letters. So I'm starting in the middle and I'm outlining the letters. Remember to make sure that your letters are tall and they touch the top and the bottom line of the spiral section they are in. So if you notice that some of them are a little short when you're doing your outlining, you can correct that and make it a little bit taller. After, I'm going ahead and erasing all the pencil lines that are showing through. After, go ahead and pick out about five to seven colors that look nice together. We're going to color in, starting in the middle, the shapes that were created from our letters. So each letter has a different shape. Um, it might have a straight side or a curvy side, and it has created shapes that you can color in. So you're not gonna take a marker or colored pencil or crayon and color all over the design, but you're looking for those shapes that are next to the letters, that are under the letters, that are on the side of the letters, and you're coloring those in separately. And as you're coloring, try to switch your colors so that you don't have the same color next to each other. So each shape um, switches colors. When you're switching colors and you're thinking about what you haven't used lately, that is using contrast. So you're making the other colors stand out by putting a new color next to it. You could try to think of it as a pattern, but it doesn't have to be in a pattern. One way you could color this in is using one color at a time and spacing out the sections that you color. So I colored that section in blue by the R. Then I moved ahead a little bit and I'm coloring under the M here. And I'm gonna skip some sections and color in another uh, shape blue. I skipped a few more and now I'm coloring under another M. And this might be a little bit faster. You might like doing it like this. Um, that's totally up to you. Now I'm gonna find a new color and skip ahead and color some of those sections in purple. All right, we are done. Have fun making your abstract spiral name.